So my dude's Valkyr, and today I'm going to talk about something I get asked a lot, which, um, kind of silly to me, but, you know, everybody, they're, they're, everybody's kind of confused until he comes out. A lot of people ask me, is physical damage percent good on Shao? Um, just like yesterday, the easy answer is no. Uh, but let's go into it, let's explain why. So whenever you get into Shao's damage, whenever you get into how, what Shao's damage really is, of course, if you're outside of ult, you're dealing physical damage percent aside from his... Uh, are you dealing physical damage aside from his skill? His E skill, like uh, Searing Onslaught here, would be dealing Anemo damage, and you can use it two times unless you have him C1, and you can use it three times. It's a dash that deals Anemo damage. But kind of like Deluke, whenever he ults, he's going to convert all of his damage into Anemo and give himself a giant damage bonus. So while you can do physical damage percent on Shao, I highly recommend going Anemo damage percent purely because it makes his strong stronger rather than um, anything else. If you're running two-piece Bloodstain, two-piece Viridescent, that could work. You could have that extra little 25% bonus, but once again, second you hit that ult button, the second you hit triangle on a console or burst, whatever you want to call it, that physical damage percent is gone. It is entirely gone. It does not count for your damage anymore. It's 100% gone. So whenever I recommend two-piece Glad, two-piece Viridescent, like I always do, um, I'm saying that because you want to make his strong stronger. You don't really want to try to pick up where he's weak at. You want to let his weaknesses be his weaknesses. You want to try to accentuate his strengths and make his strong that much better. Anyways, guys, I hope this cleared up some confusion because I know I get a lot of it. Um, if you guys still have questions, whenever he comes out, I'm going to test Bloodstain. I'm going to test the physical damage out, see if it's worth doing it whenever he's, you know... Because I'm going to have a low energy recharge build on him as for my free-to-play build. It's only going to be around like 120% energy recharge, so it's going to be kind of low. So I'm still going to test it, but I don't think it's going to be very good. That's why I'm advising people against doing it, because I know a lot of people are spending resin right now farming bloodstain and stuff. So I kind of want to put this out, clear it up. Anyways, guys, let's consume the almond tofu. And yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm uploading this the day before the live stream too. If you guys don't know, the reason my live stream is going to be delayed is going... I'm waiting till after the English live stream to stream myself, and then we can talk about everything. But yeah, now we've consumed the almond tofu for our boy. We do our little prayer. Thank you, Xiao. And that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you guys after the English live stream. Peace.